Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Church of the Ascension on this, the second Sunday of Easter. My name is Janine Bro, and I'm very happy to welcome all of you this evening. And if there's anyone who's joining us for the first time since the beginning of the pandemic, we especially welcome you. And also, this Mass is being streamed online, so we welcome also our online family. So we're all part of this together, celebrating on this particular day. This Mass is being offered for Kathleen Sherin and Elmore Beltran, Sr. For multiple reasons, and we're sorry about this, we don't have paper song sheets for you this evening because of staff vacations, other reasons as well. So if you would like to be able to find the music, you can probably use your smartphone and go to the website and look under resources and you will find the music for this liturgy. Oh, but don't forget to turn off the volume on your cell phone, okay? Attention married couples. The spring marriage in-person retreat is next Saturday, April 17th, beginning at 9 a.m. and ending at 5.30 with the Vigil Mass. We welcome you to join Deacon David and Debbie Reeves, presenters for an enriching day. Contact the parish office to sign up with Deacon Jim Ahern. Ascension is researching the idea of building a Mary garden on the property as part of our 50th anniversary celebration. We need your help. There's a planning meeting on Saturday, April 17th at 4 p.m. outside the columbarium for parishioner input. Please join us. The Knights of Columbus are hosting Rolling with the Knights custom car show. Saturday, April 24th from 9 to 3 in the Ascension parking lot. Admission is two canned food items and fun for the whole family. If you would like to register your car, please see the flyer in this week's bulletin. Now I invite you to please rise for our gathering song. name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Dear friends, today we celebrate the second Sunday of Easter, O Divine Mercy Sunday. The risen Christ continued to appear to the disciples, and this time Thomas is also among the apostles because he doubted when he heard from his brother apostles when they told him that they have seen the risen Christ. And he said, I cannot believe unless I see him, I touch, I see from my own eyes. Our message today that we can see the risen Christ 
from our own hearts. And how do we embrace the risen Christ as we continue to fulfill our duties as a family of God through our families, through our communities, and we love one another, we also embrace and see the risen Christ. He's always with us, and he's always with us among ourselves. How do we recognize him when we fulfill our own duties with love and peace? Coming together as God's family, let us acknowledge your sins and ask for God's love and mercy. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God, Almighty Father, glory, glory to God in the highest, glory, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. Glory, glory to God in the highest. Glory, glory to God in the highest. And on earth peace to people of good will. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High Jesus. Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, glory, glory to God in the highest, glory, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Let us pray. God of everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrence of the Paschal Feast kindle the faith of the people you have made your own, increase, we pray, the grace you have bestowed, that all may grasp and rightfully understand in what font they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn by whose blood they have been redeemed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, 
but they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who owned property or houses would sell them, bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles, and they would distribute to each one according to need. The word of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love is everlasting. Give thanks, thanks to, to the, the Lord, Lord for, for he is good. His, his love is everlasting. Let the house of Israel say, his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, his mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, his mercy endures forever. Give thanks, Give thanks to, the to the Lord, for he is good. His, his love, love is everlasting. I was hard pressed and was falling, but the Lord helped me. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my savior. The joyful shout of victory in the tents of the just. Give thanks, Give thanks to, to the, the Lord, for he is good. good. His, his love, love is everlasting. everlasting. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Give thanks, thanks to, to the Lord, Lord for, for he, he is good. good. His, His love, love is, is everlasting. everlasting. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is begotten by God. And everyone who loves the Father loves also the one begotten by him. In this way, we know that we love the children of God when we love God and obey his commandments. For the love of God is this, that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome, for whoever is begotten by God conquers the world. And the victory that conquers the world is our faith. Who indeed is the victor over the world, but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came through water and blood, Jesus Christ not by water alone, but by water and blood. The Spirit is the one that testifies, and the Spirit is truth. The word of the Lord. reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the evening of the first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, 
receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands and put my finger into the nail marks and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side, and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, You have come to believe because you have seen me. Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other works in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book, but these are written that you come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Dear friends, immediately after Easter on Monday, I went to Richmond just for vacation. I came back yesterday. And during those days, I was asking myself, what am I going to share during my homily for the second Sunday of Easter? the Divine Mercy Sunday. And something which came into my heart and something which brought me back 32 years. You know, when you are a deacon and before you are ordained as a priest, you have to prepare your own souvenir. That souvenir, you come up with your own words which you want to put on your picture, that Reverend Father Daniel Malingum, and then you put it. And actually, I put something very powerful. Lord, make me an instrument of peace. I want to ask you, for eight years, in July, I'm going to be eight years here in this wonderful community. Do you see what uh, I put on my souvenir? Do you really see that what I say is what uh, I live? Is who I am? Lord, make me an instrument of peace. And that is my hope, my goal, my expectation. In order to live my faith, to continue to see the risen Christ in my journey of life. I am trying. But something very important to go through is what Thomas reminds us today. All the apostles, each one was different. And even the way they were touched with the death of Jesus, everyone was different. You can even ask yourselves, where he was, Thomas, when the other apostles were there inside the house? That means he was completely broken, heartbroken after the loss of someone whom they trusted for a long time for their journey of life. And what happened for him? I don't know. And what brought him back? And that's where he was so surprised to see the other apostles were there and they shared something. We have seen the risen Lord. And that's why I started saying, what happened? 
why only me have not seen him? What happened about me? And why Jesus didn't appear to me so that I can believe? And he came up with his own decision. I cannot believe unless I see him. I touch him, his hands, and even touch on their side to see that he's really Jesus. And what we come to learn today, Jesus didn't condemn him for his own decision. Jesus didn't even judge the other apostles when he appeared to them. What he came up with, his message was the message, peace be with you. And this passage, peace be with you, has said three times. And that is his message to all of us. And I was asking myself, am I different with Thomas? I doubt every time. Am I different with Peter when I denied Jesus? Am I not different with uh, Judah when I, I betrayed him? All of this I come to learn that uh, we are all on the same situation. And Jesus knows us, and even in our weaknesses, and that's why he continued to appear to his followers to strengthen them on their faith so that they can believe. He appeared to everyone in a different way as he did to his apostles. He appeared to you and he wants you to respond like Thomas, my Lord and my God. Only our faith can lead us to the risen Christ. But we have to understand that Jesus didn't leave us isolated. No. He left us in a community, in a family, where we can continue to enjoy that love he has shared with us. Today I want to share with you that the first reading reminds me back in Tanzania, when we started the small Christian communities. One of the bishop, he wanted to put all these things literally. He moved from his cathedral, and he went to one of the parish, and he invited some families and the other nuns and himself and some few priests, and he said, let us come together and live this Life as the first Christians. They did that when he was a bishop. He knew how to manage all those things. But when he died, that community also collapsed. And when I was ordained in 1989, one of my priests, the pastor, he said, I want also to practice the first small Christian communities, the community of the first church. And he invited those nuns, and I was myself and uh, himself and the other, we started. But I was doubted like Thomas. I told him, this is not going to work. So he did it for one year, and he didn't go it. What is my message? The risen Christ is telling us, no matter where you are, he meets you where you are. He knows you, and he wants you to live your Christian values. Open up your hearts and be ready to live your Christian lives, to live with your family members, with your community members, like what we are doing here at Ascension, what I want to challenge you. Do you feel comfortable as part and parcel of this wonderful family? How do you engage yourselves and feel that you are part and parcel of this wonderful community? What is going on in this community? Do you participate? It's not enough just coming from us and just go. 
No, you have to feel that you are responsible, that you are part and parcel of your community. You have to feel that you are engaged, and you have to understand that we are family. And I always say, the family which stays together, prays together. And that's what our message we hear today. Jesus is wishing us peace be with you. Let us continue to respond to one another with love, with peace. And let us also participate with one another, even at the time of doubt, like Thomas, the reason Christ is giving us his message. Peace be with you. Let us do it with an open heart. And where two or three are gathered in my name, I am also with you. Amen. Amen. Please stand and profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With confident faith, we bring our concerns before our loving God. For our Holy Father, bishops, priests, and all the faithful, that we all bear witness to the love and mercy of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May the living faith of those who have celebrated the sacraments this Easter, and all of us united here today, lead others to Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who, like Thomas, do not yet believe, that they may see Jesus through our words and actions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the comfort and protection over all those in need of prayer, for those who are physically, mentally, or spiritually unwell, we ask that they receive comfort and healing. And those chronically ill listed in our bulletin and the names that we mention now out loud. For all of these, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for those who have died that they be welcomed into the eternal kingdom. And in memory of Kathleen Sharon, Elmore Beltran Sr., Arturo Abdad, Mary Fallon and Eddie Datu. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Generous God, plant your gift of faith in our hearts and hear our prayers this day. We ask this in the name of Jesus, our losing Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Due to the COVID protocol, donation baskets are located at the doors as you exit the sanctuary. Thank you for your continued support.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. The praise and glory of his name, for our good and all the holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the oblation of your people, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain an ending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just to do to our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to load you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, he restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land and every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make all there for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the pure for, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that we have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that in partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Bill, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Kathleen Sharon, and Elmo Bertrand Sr., whom you have called from this world to yourself, grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in no mercy, Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, O we pray, 
that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and the honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from evil, evil, gracious, grand peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, let us offer to one another a sign of Christ's peace, and we ask if you're watching us live stream to please put a note in the chat box. Thank you so much. Peace Thank you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the sup of the Lamb. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I, I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
precious body, precious blood, seen as bread and wine. Hear the Lord prepares the feast divine. Bread of love is broken now, cup of life is poured. Come share the supper of the Lord. This is the bread of God coming down from heaven, giving life to us, to all the Precious body, precious blood, seen as bread and wine. Here the Lord prepares the feast divine. Bread of love is broken now, cup of life is poured. Share the supper of the Lord. I am the living spring of eternal life. You that drink from me shall not thirst Precious body, precious blood, seen as bread and wine. Hear the Lord prepares the feast divine. Bread of love is broken now, cup of life is poured. Come share the supper of the Lord. I am the bread of heaven, giving life to you. You that eat this bread shall never. Precious body, precious blood, hear in bread and wine. Hear the Lord prepares the feast divine. Bread of love is broken now, cup of life is poured. Come share the supper of the Lord. All those who feed on me have their life in me. As I have my life in the living Precious body, precious blood, seen as bread and wine. Hear the Lord prepares the feast divine. Bread of love is broken now, cup of life is poured. Come share the supper of the Lord. Bring your hand and fill the place of the nails, and do not be unbelieving, but believing. Alleluia.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and hearts through Christ our Lord. Uh, indication that things are getting a little bit more back to normal. Uh, next Saturday, as you heard announced earlier, we're going to have um, a marriage couple uh, retreat here. Starts at 9 a.m., uh, and then it will conclude at the 5.30 Mass next uh, Saturday. Uh, it's going to be a deacon and his wife. Uh, when they were here last time, I guess it was about six months or so ago, it was highly rated. And so if you as a married couple just kind of feel like you need a little vaccine, then this is a good opportunity to uh, kind of get a booster shot. So, um, and there's no cost for it. Lunch is provided, snacks are provided, and everything else. And then the following week, if a little outside activity, the Knights of Columbus are going to be hosting their first car show. Uh, it'll be out here in the parking lot. The only mission is bringing a couple canned goods for our pantry. So I hope that uh, as we start uh, getting a little bit back to normal, that there's a little uh, few other things that you can do to be a part of the parish as well. Thank you. Just to thank you on behalf of Dick and Gary, I want to say thank you for coming and for your prayers and for your participation. And for those who are watching online also, I want to say thank you for your participation and for your prayers. But as I said during my homily, that Jesus wish us peace be with you. And let us go with that mission to be peaceful people, to extend the love the risen Christ has shared with us, to extend the peace that the risen Christ has shared with us, where you are trying to make the kingdom of God, whether you are not home to your family members or to your working place or to your community, Try to make that place a kingdom of God. We know we have some people who are struggling in their lives. Let us extend our hands so that we can see their needs as Jesus came to see to his apostles, as Thomas and others. And he's asking us, now come and see. You see the way I am. And Jesus continued to reveal himself to us as we continue to love one another and support one another. Whatever you do to your brothers and sisters, you do it to me. That's a powerful message. So I wish you all the best, and let us continue to celebrate Easter for 50 days. That is the importance of our church. Easter, 50 days. Please stand for the final blessing and bow your heads for the blessing. And in each prayer, just respond, Amen. May God, who by the resurrection of his only begotten Son was pleased to confer on you the gift of redemption and of adoption, give you gladness by his blessing. Amen. May he, by whose redeeming work you have received the gift of everlasting freedom, make you heirs to an eternal inheritance. Amen. And may you who have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith, by living in a right manner on this earth, be united with him in the homeland of heaven. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed be the Lord. Blessed be the Lord. The God of mercy, the God who saves, I shall not fear the dark.
dark of night, nor the arrow that flies by day. You will release me from the nets of all my foes. You will protect me from their wicked hands. Beneath the shadow of his wings I will rejoice to find a dwelling place secure. Blessed be the Lord, blessed be the Lord, the God of mercy, the God who saves. I shall not fear the dark of night, nor the arrow that flies by day. Thank you, everybody. Have a good night.